Hey guys, so we have a bit of a story today of someone who, um... Don't trust anyone that uses anime profile pictures. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you at the end of the video. Wanted to dump something that happened while hosting a D&D campaign on Roll20. Here we go. Online friend wants to get into D&D but knows nobody to play with. Offer to host a campaign with him and some other online friends because fuck it. I haven't played in a while and talking about it made me want to play all over again. If you've never played D&D online, trust me in this one. And don't fucking do it. IRL D&D is a million times better. I can completely agree with that. <laughs> Roll 20 is such Roll a dick pain. Roll 20 is the bane of my fucking <laughs> life. I absolutely hate the software. It's too complicated. It's really bad. I just like to be able to show up at a place... Fucking bring the bring your bags, dice. Bring a model if you got one. Bring a wee bag of dice and be like, right boys, <laughs> ready to roll. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Managed to gather some people who are down for a party of four. Guy who initially wanted to play and some other guy be like, great. Since we can't find two more players, I'll just list our campaign online to find players. Post our campaign as being a casual D&D 3.5 campaign with a pretty open setting. Get some applications. Some dude who can't write a fucking sentence of English properly shows up with his silver brow human bard chick with an anime for a reference pick. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's never good if they show you that. Like, this is, this is kind of what they This is my character. <laughs> it's like an anime cat girl. Whatever he says can't speak anything in English. I Is he referring that maybe they're not a like, native English speaker? Or they Can they not or they just dyslexic like, or, or something? No, they're just like an insane weed talk. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm on about? That's what I'm talking about. My autistic self somehow thought this would be fine and this would fit in with my two other close friends who have little to no experience with D&D. The other dude rolled this generic human cleric. Day of the campaign, we all show up. Party is composed of a half-orc fighter and a bird folk druid, played by my newbie friends. And the other dude's anime bard thingamajig and this really generic sand cleric. The guy playing the bar chick has a thick Swedish accent oh, that explains it and can barely muster comprehensible sentences, both due to poor grammar and his weird Swedish accent. What? <laughs> what the <Kvack>. fuck? <laughs> Kvack. What's that duck one? Kvack. Dogs in Sweden be like... <laughs> Bjork. Dogs. <laughs> oh, I fucking love them memes. I'll do that. Other dude sounds fine for the moment. Players present their characters. Half Orc Fighter is a lawful evil dude who collects the teeth of his fallen enemies to fashion into jewellery. Druid and Clerk have some really generic Druid and Clerk stuff. Bard emphasises on the fact that she is a pacifist and refuses to fight, even though she has a fucking long sword strapped to her back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want. The Bard being a pacifist should have been a red fucking flag considering our campaign takes place in a city under siege by an orc army. Pretty basic stuff for beginners. Party wakes up in the demolished tavern. Half orc starts looking around for ale and other supplies. Bard uses this really cringy female voice and repeatedly tells him to <laughs> oh stop. My God. Oh no, no he's no. actually LARP. Ben, he's doing like a whole girl voice. No, Megan, You're playing do, a girl. Megan, do, do, like, I was going to say Megan, do a girl voice, but I suppose. <laughs> Everybody but, thinks I'm a 10 year old prepubescent fucking boy anyway. Yeah, so. I, I've gotten chained up in my fucking audio. <laughs> oh, please stop. Oh, please stop. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's so offensive to sweets. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Half orc doesn't give a shit. Find some pots and some money lying around. The half orc being useful and the bard telling him to stop it is going to be a recurring thing. Eventually, a scared dwarf barges in the tavern and starts telling the party to pipe down because orc patrols are coming. Before the dwarf can explain this, half orc smacks him unconscious in a single blow. Oh god, mate, this god. isn't going to end well at all. Entire party is rightfully mad at him. Decides to use his potion of cure light wounds he found to heal the dwarf so he can wake up and keep talking. Eventually the cleric did a bluff on the dwarf to make him believe they found him unconscious after he was attacked by orcs. Somehow worked because not 20. <laughs> yeah. Dwarf proceeds to tell them that he can get his airship to work and get the fuck out of the city but he needs people to cover his ass while he preps the ship. Party follows him. 
They immediately encounter a patrol of orcs while exiting the tavern. Druid and fighters single-handedly defeat the orcs, roughly five of them. Cleric used literally no spells and kept missing every attack with his minus one attack bonus crossbow. Because he refused to fight in melee, where his attack bonus was actually positive despite having decent AC. Bard plays songs to buff the party. Did I say party? I meant his own fucking self. Oh, for fuck's sake, not one of those bards. This fucking bard had a song active that would raise his AC to an obscene 22. And if you managed to hit that, you would have to do a will save of 21 or higher to manage to hit him because otherwise your attack gets cancelled. He's level fucking 1. What is that spell? I don't know. That's fucking. That's. A bit broken at that level, I guess. Sounds a bit fucking broken on level one. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. No. Well, unless he's combining a few different spells together. After the fight is over, the half orc has about three hit points left, considering he soaked up all the damage. Druid asks the clerk if he can heal anyone. Nope. Cleric didn't take a single healing spell and refused to use the cleric's special ability gimmick to turn other spells into healing spells because they might come in handy. They did not. (laughs) (laughs) Half-orc spots a trap door while shifting through the orc's bodies and decide to check it out. Old creepy cellar with a locked steel door at the end. Entirety of party is down to check it out. Besides the bard, of course. Half-orc tells the bard to fuck off out of character. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. fuck, okay, yeah. And the party decide to check out the cellar. Cellar is very obviously a bandit nest. Half-orc bangs on the door. Bandits bandits ask for a password. (laughs) Password one. (laughs) Half-orc decides to ditch this place since no one can break open or lockpick this door. Bard tries fucking diplomacy on the bandits. Doesn't work. (laughs) Bandits get alerted because they realise someone found their hideout. Bandits come out of the door, weapons drawn, both swinging at the bard, but no luck hitting through that wall of obscure rules. They're very obscure rules. Half-orc and druid take down the bandits. Half-orc is near death yet again. Half-orc starts collecting teeth. Bard gets mad about it again. Half-Orc still couldn't give less of a fuck. (laughs) Half-Orc decides to do a spot check. Try to explain to him how to do this. Cleric and Bard start talking about rules in broken English. Rules which have little to nothing to do with what's going on and are ridiculously complicated. They did this shit every single time I had to explain something to the new players. And I had to explain every single dice roll they had to do. Anyway. After a painful 15 minutes of them invoking obscure rules about spot checks for some reason and the new players getting more confused by the seconds, he eventually successfully finds the bandit stash. Gold pieces for days, boy! Yeah! (laughs) Bard gets mad about half-orc taking gold from others. My face went. (laughs) But (laughs) campaign continues. From what you've read, nothing much ever changes. They meet orcs. Half-Orc and Druid do all the fighting while Cleric misses his crossbow shots and Bard stands there playing music to buff herself. Half-Orc collecting teeth and Bard getting mad about it every time. Hell, literally everything that Half-Orc did got the Bard mad. Eventually, they came across a house with Orcish screams coming out of it. They investigate. They end up fighting some Orcs. One of them nearly managed to hit the Bard but Wilchek fucked him over. They search the house and for once, Bard decides to help. He slash she finds a hidden compartment in a wardrobe containing a long sword plus one. She decides to keep it for herself and refuse openly to give it to anyone else or to sell it because it's an upgrade to her long sword. But But she's not fucking fucking using long sword! (laughs) Ah! Which she refuses to openly use because that would cause her to lose her insane AC bonuses and be actually useful. She also realised that she had a song that gives her player extra fire damage on attacks the entire time, but never used it. But she's not fucking attacking anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. It's not like they would have given... Why is she here? Why are you here? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you gay? (laughs) (laughs) Fantastic. Party is relieved that she can actually be useful. Later in the house, they find a chest. Dead, electrocuted bodies scattered around it. 
You have to be retarded not to think this is a trap. <laughs> Claire casts the spell and actually does something. Detect magic reveals that the chest is magically trapped and will zap the fuck out of you if you try to open it. Half Orc decides to carry the chest with him and eventually pay someone to remove the trap and open the contents. Bard and Clerk go hysterical about rules. Not mad or anything, but they just start explaining random and pointless rules for a good 20 minutes. Me and my friends start going silent and having really bad headaches because of their shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd just be sick of that shit yeah. at this point, you know. They later find some eel kegs and Half Orc invites the party to drink. Bard wildly opposes, gets told to fuck off once more. Party starts drinking and ignoring whatever the Bard is saying in character. The finale. The party reaches the airship docks. The dwarf NPC tells them that they need to fend off the orc invaders while he preps the ship. Druid casts Entangle, causing nearly everyone in the fight area to get entangled. Bard resists every time because some other obscure rule. Druid and Half-Orc doing their best to fend off the orcs, and eventually a nerf troll. Bard still not doing jack, not even using his damage buff. Orcs got one shot pretty easily anyway, so it wasn't really necessary. After fending off a couple of orcs, Half-Orc starts his teeth collecting routine during downtime. Bard gets mad. Half-Orc is done with her shit, decides to slap her. This slap was the one slap to pierce the heavens. Attack roll. Natural 20. It's a hit. Still needs to do a will check with a DC of 21. Natural fucking 20. Hey. Bard gets smacked unconscious for all her hit points. Did I mention the airship docks were on a cliff? And that she was right next to it? Falls down. A nigga dead. <laughs> <laughs> Bard player isn't even mad about it. Cleric says he has to leave because Job called him. Eventually we agree to stop the session and assume the party fought off the orcs. Bard and Cleric still think we are playing again with them. Bard is still messaging me, wondering if his Bard is still alive. They are still trying to contact me on Roll20 to this day. So yeah, don't play with randoms on Roll20. Keep D&D the way it was meant to be played. Pen and paper, and no pacifist half-dragon edgelords. <laughs> So, yeah, what I would say to that is whenever you're, like, forming a group and whatever, try and, like, whenever you find people that you actually enjoy playing with, hold on to them, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of fucking crazy people out there. You yeah, know? don't let them go. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the good ones go, for the love of God, you know? And don't let them fucking be stolen off you for either, you know? Yeah. If you've got a good game going, I hope you guys enjoy it. But, uh... Yeah, this is just a big sign of why you should not trust anyone that has an anime profile <laughs> picture. Um, you know fine likely what type of person they are. They should be treated like second class citizens <laughs> at all times. Um, this is just a fact. Oh, well. Yeah, this is just a fact of life nice. that I'm sure a lot of you guys are more than a well, more than aware of. However, I feel like sometimes we just need a we need emphasize a, it a wee bit. Yeah, yeah, that's very <laughs> true. Uh, but look, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys are staying safe throughout all this, you know. And, uh, we'll and while see. you're here, I have a new video up on my channel. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely. Like I said, links down below. Yeah, check that we'll shit check out. If you want uh, some specs. Yep, yeah, check that stuff out. And we'll see you in the next video. See Bye. You Wash your balls. Eee.